Good morning. It is bright and early on a Saturday. I'm getting ready to head out to my local Dollar Tree. Stick around to the end of the video because I share some Dollar Tree Easter crafts. Let's head on into my local Dollar Tree and see what we find today. These felt gnome Easter baskets are adorable. They even had a burlap one with a felt Easter bunny and a cotton tail. These adorable little pails are perfect to put a little Easter gift together for a friend. And look at this Easter basket fillers for the kiddos. They have peeps, Play-Doh sets, and it even comes with a little Easter bunny mold. Here we have some adorable Easter themed gift bags. How cute are these? You could use them for any kind of paper crafting as well. And we have some Easter gift boxes. These galvanized Easter buckets are adorable. They come with several different images on the front and I think these would be perfect to put together a little Easter goodie bucket for friends and coworkers. Here we have more Easter basket fillers for the kids and these fidget toys are super popular. So if your kids are into fidget toys, grab them when you see them. These squishy blind bags are also a popular toy with the kids. Any blind bag is a perfect Easter basket filler. And we do have some new spring hair scrunchies here. They have butterflies on them. Here's a better look at the butterflies. They are cute and they came in three different colors, the pink, the blue, and this um, off-white color. We also had mini butterfly hair clips to go along with the scrunchies. Who remembers these hair clips from the 90s? They were super popular. If you celebrate St. Patrick's Day or are heading to a St. Patrick's Day parade, how fun would these mustaches be to wear with your St. Patty's Day getup? Dollar Tree has all of their spring florals in. They were so bright and vibrant and colorful. Now is the time to make your spring floral arrangements. We are in the craft aisle now. I'm just taking a look at all of the ribbon and the rocks and the sand. So Dollar Tree pretty much has everything for your crafting needs in this craft aisle. I mean, look at this. They have the vinyl for um, your Cricut and you don't even need a Cricut to use this. You can use it other ways in your crafts as well. Here we have all of the metallic and wood pieces that are staples in the Dollar Tree craft aisle. Dollar Tree had lots of new candles. I liked this candle for the jar. It's a little mini mason jar. Although I must say that I do not have luck with Dollar Tree candles. They just don't have a throw. So you can't really smell the scent when they are lit in a room. Um, although you can smell them, you know, when you take the lid off. But um, they are cute for decoration. Here we have a wellness collection candle. Um, it just had two scents and they did smell pretty in the jar, but again, like I said, I don't have luck with the Dollar Tree candles. Okay, in the um, electronic accessories, I found this adorable little phone pocket and it came in several different colors. These are a great Easter basket filler or stocking stuffer for your teenagers. The Dollar Tree lunch bags are back. Take a look at these. They are the same colors and designs that they had at the end of summer for back to school. We get these temptation treats from Dollar Tree a lot for our cat. She absolutely loves them. We cannot forget man's best friend. Miss Shelby loves these Foppers sprinkle cookies. They are made in the USA as well, but she loves these and she'd eat the whole bag at one sitting if we'd let her. 
In the bath and shower aisle, I noticed lots of name brand hand soaps. I'm not sure if this would be a deal to get it at Dollar Tree because I cannot remember the prices of these um, from Walmart because I shop at Walmart, so I price compare everything with Walmart. But just take a look before you purchase them at Dollar Tree to make sure that it is a deal. I also came across this Hemp Heaven um, body wash. It is new to the store. I have not seen it before. It's made in the USA and it is 16 fluid ounces. Check this out. This is a Be Pure two-in-one shampoo and conditioner bar. And so it came in two different scents, lavender and coconut. So all you do is you rub the moistened bar between your hands for lather and gently massage into your hair. Speaking of hair, I found some new hair clips at Dollar Tree and these were pretty sturdy. I really liked them and I'm kicking myself for not picking one up. Also, more of these velvety hair scrunchies, which I absolutely love. When shopping at Dollar Tree, I tend to skip over the infant toddler section because my kids are older now and way out of that stage, but they do have a lot of amazing items. You could put together a little basket for somebody having a baby. Look at these though. These are amazing. They're mini silicone popsicle molds for little teethers. And of course, we have all of the body washes and lotions for babies, and they even have sesame street as previously mentioned we have lots of name brand items like the arm and hammer body wash and shampoo supposed to be gentle for baby skin we also have lots of name brand wipes like fisher price and nickelodeon while shopping at Dollar Tree, do not skip the book section because sometimes you can find some pretty amazing deals on books and they sell for way more than $1.25 at other stores, so you're definitely saving yourself some money. On this trip, I did find a gem of a book, at least in my opinion. I found the um, Debbie Maycomers A Season of Angels and it costs $9.99 in other stores. And I scored it for $1.25 and plan on reading this one. I may save it for Christmas time though. These puzzles are great for a rainy day or when the kids are in bed as a way to unwind and relax. Do one of these crossword puzzles or Sudoku puzzles. Dollar Tree carries Crayola products, everything from crayons, chalk, pencils, activity kits. These are great Easter basket fillers. Check out these adorable little stickers. How cute are they? They look like little balloons. In the teacher's corner, it used to be called the teaching tree, I believe, but now it's called the teacher's corner. They have lots of decor pieces and little awards for your classroom. My son likes to play school when he gets home from school and I used to buy him these um, workbooks because he was learning as he was playing. These gorgeous bird clips are usually in the craft aisle, but I had to show you because they were so pretty. Okay, in the makeup aisle, I found some Be Pure Glitter Eyeshadow Palettes, and they came in two different shades. I also found this CoverGirl foundation. You guys, this was so heavy, but um, they had a few different shades to choose from. Here we have a cosmetic bag or a makeup brush bag. You can store all of your brushes in here and have them ready to go when you need them. We also have some cosmetic bags. They were in a purple theme and came in three different patterns. I also found this Ami Hydro Toner. Okay, in the food and drink aisle, I found this drink. It's called Trimino, I believe. It's seven grams of protein and they had several different flavors to choose from. These LA Color Sweet Lip Shop products are not new. They are super adorable and would make a great addition to a birthday gift. In the snack aisle, I came across these mini Pantone breads and I had to share because I thought the packaging was so cute and you needed to see this. In the household or kitchen items, I came across some cooking concepts items that I thought were pretty useful in the kitchen. So I wanted to share. 
This scraper is useful when you're done chopping up all of your little veggies. You can use the scraper in your hand to scoop them up. We are at the front of the store, but I wanted to kind of scan through all of the gardening items because these items really do work and they are much cheaper at Dollar Tree than at other store. A few years ago, I bought a bunch of vegetable seeds and started growing them in pots for the spring. And you guys, they really do work. They did start growing and they grew very large. So, get these if you want to start a garden because Dollar Tree has a lot of seeds to choose from. I found this adorable food storage container on the rounder at the front of the store along with these prayer cards. All right, I'm headed to the checkout. Take a look at these last few items and stick around to the end of the video where I share some Dollar Tree Easter crafts. Before you go, I have a few quick Dollar Tree Easter DIYs for you. So for this first one, you will need a candle. Um, I chose the orange candle because I decorate with pops of orange for Easter. Uh, you'll need some ribbon. If you choose to put it on, you don't have to, especially if you light the candle, do not use the ribbon um, just to be on the safe side. Uh, you'll need some Dollar Tree Easter window clings as well. And all you're gonna do is choose the cling that you want and press it onto the glass jar of the candle. So this is what the candle will look like. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more clings to this just to take up some of the empty space towards the top. So this is what it will look like. How cute is that? And um, just so you know, I am using this on a tiered tray. I am not going to light the candle, so I will add a bow. But like I said, if you are going to light the candle, I do not recommend adding the bow just to be on the safe side. Okay, so I'm just using a little hot glue to adhere the bow to the top of the candle jar. And this project is complete. It is super simple, quick, and so festive. Moving on to project number two, you are going to need a bunny pick, a blank sign, ribbon, and some moss. So I'm gonna start by removing the tag from the bunny pick and also removing the pick itself. It came off really easy. Um, I just bend it back and forth and wiggle it around until it pops off. Next, we are going to turn the bunny over and just put some hot glue on the back of the bunny and stick some moss on there to make it look like the moss is sticking out from behind the bunny. Now we just need to glue the bunny onto the sign and this project is done. Another super simple Dollar Tree DIY. For the third project, we will need these little bunnies, this sign from Dollar Tree, some ribbon and some moss. You wanna start by taking your sign and hot gluing moss to the bottom of the sign.
The next step is to take three wooden bunnies and hot glue them to the sign so it looks like they are sitting or standing in the moss. The next step is to add the bow to the top of the sign and we are done. This last project is a little more involved, but you will need a flower pot from Dollar Tree, the carrot decor pieces, moss, and floral foam. You'll wanna start by hot gluing the floral foam to the bottom of your flower pot and filling in any gaps. To fill in those gaps on the ends, the floral foam is super easy to cut. I just used a knife and cut it down to size. This is gonna look messy, but you wanna build up the height as well. So I made the middle a little bit taller than the two ends. And um, now we are going to go ahead and lay some hot glue down for the moss. When laying down the moss, be sure to cover up any of the floral foam that might be showing. And once you're done, this is what it will look like. And now it's time to add the carrots. I just added some glue to the tips of the carrots and pressed them firmly into the floral foam to get them to stay put. Out of all four of the DIYs we made today, this one is my favorite. I really like how it turned out. After creating these fun Easter DIYs, I decided to get out our Easter decorations from the basement and decorate our house. Most of these items purchased are from Dollar Tree except for the two bunnies on the mantle. Everything else is from Dollar Tree. I either left it as is, like this bunny garland, or I DIY'd these to make them my own. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video.